Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Easter. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. A beautiful Easter Sunday. Sixty seven degrees right now. If you look really closely, you can see the moon just to the left of the boardwalk here, right there. Got our full moon setting. Bit of a haze out there on the horizon. Absolutely gorgeous though. Quite a few people here at the park already. The parking lots are already starting to fill up. If you're planning on coming out here, oh, any later than probably 9.30, you're probably not gonna find a parking spot today. They're expecting a very, very busy day at the beach here. If we look down the beach, you can see people already setting up piles of shells along the shore here. You can see one here. You can see them all. All the shells piled up down the beach. Let's take a walk down and see what we come across. Absolutely gorgeous here this morning. A beautiful Easter morning. Looking forward to seeing Roy. See what he has to say this morning. My word, I'm not seeing anything. Nothing's jumping out at me as far as the shells go yet. Still a little dark here on the beach. There's a neat conch. Look at that, that's really, that's an old worn out conch shell. Not quite sure if that was a king conch or a fighting, a crown conch or a fighting conch. That is a neat looking shell though. That's a nice candidate for the shell tree. I think I'm gonna put that in my pocket and hang it on the tree in a little while. See all these piles of shells here right down the beach. There's part of a moon shell, part of a, oh no, there's a shark eye. A whole shark eye right there. It's just sitting on top of the pile. Look at that. That's a good looking shark eye. Thought it was a broken one, but no, it was just sitting there looking at me. Beautiful shell. The shark eye, also called a moon shell. Great little specimen there, nice find. I figured people would have already gone through these piles, but you never know. I mean, you just gotta dig down and find all kinds of little treasures. A lot of folks are going to church this morning. No, 
Now that's part of a, that's definitely part of a crown conch right there. Call that a twisty. And you just have the little spirals left from the shell. It's part of a crown conch right there. Love to find one of those that size. Looks like it's a nice morning for shelling here. Excuse me. Got a little bit of congestion here going on. The sun, you can see the sun raking the beach here, raking across all these shells. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I want to turn around and start walking up towards Wiggins Pass. See what all we have out there. Maybe we'll see some dolphins this morning. Oh, here's a really nice piece of coral. Look at that. There's a nice piece of finger coral. That's a nice, nice long piece there. Hey, Patty. Good. Happy Easter. That is a nice piece of finger coral. What is it? I have no idea. Is it a fish or a... <laughs> is it alive? Oh, that's a sea slug. That is a huge one. That is a huge sea slug. It's like a snail. And they have ink. Yeah, like a purple ink. Yeah. That is a huge sea slug. Where's that come out of, though? Oh, they just crawl around on the bottom. They don't go in the big shells or anything? Oh, wow. No. Oh. That is a huge slug. Was moving before? Yeah. Yeah, it's moving. That, look at the size of that thing. That is a big slug. <laughs> yeah, look at the size of that thing. <laughs> I've never seen them that big before. Wow. There you go. <laughs> Live on Facebook. All right. <laughs> hey, happy Easter. Boy, I have never seen a slug that big. That thing was huge. You know, we'll see those washed up on the beach sometimes. But they're about a tenth of the size of that one. That was the grandpappy of sea slugs there. Wow. There are... That's just a ton of shells on the beach here. They're just in little clusters. There's a clump of shells. And there's another clump of shells. Look at that. Great day to come to the beach, Easter Sunday. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to just walk by this pile of shells and then turn around. Oh, man. Somebody has to leave the, the water bottle here. I hate when people leave their trash on the beach. I mean, there's trash cans all over the place here. I want to get down closer to the water and head back up the beach. Hang the U-turn here. Absolutely beautiful weather. Probably getting close to 70 degrees now. 
six, probably around 68 here. Fairly calm, just some little waves breaking across the sandbar. Cut across here to the sandbar. Maybe we'll find something interesting out here. You just never know what's crawling along the bottom. I think that water temperature is around 70 four degrees right now, I don't know for sure. It's kind of hard to see the bottom. It's just dark right now. As soon as the sun comes up, it, we'll be able to see down underneath the water here. See the waves are churning up the sand. I really can't see the bottom here. Absolutely beautiful though. Is that not a picture right there? Look at that. That is definitely a picture there. I'm gonna, speaking of pictures, I'm going to take a picture. Hang tight. Alrighty, I am back. A little bit of sunlight here, a little patch of sun. You can see the bottom here. All the little ripples in the sand from the waves. There's a young man checking out that big sea slug we saw earlier. Thing is humongous. There, it's just like a giant snail without a shell. Well, there's a conch buried down in the sand here. This is, you can see how the fighting conchs bury themselves in the sand. That might be a live one. I don't know. Could just be an empty shell. Yeah, that's just that's just an empty shell there. The shell of a Florida fighting conch. Beautiful, beautiful shells. Remember, always check. Make sure there's no living animal inside the shell before you take it home. That's a fighting conch. Nobody in there. A nice shell. Clean it up a little bit. Make a nice addition to a collection or the beginning of a collection. The Florida fighting comp. There's that slug again. The tide's coming up. But that is one big sea slug right there. That's his eyes over here at this end. You can see how big that is. He is huge. And he's alive. Just like a big old blob of jelly there. Crazy looking creatures. It's 
got like antennas up there on its the back of its head. I think that's its mouth right there. Right there would be its mouth. Wow. That's wild looking. Pretty shallow right along the shore here. Find a lot of interesting stones here out in the water and up on the beach. Little fossils inside them. Gorgeous morning here. Happy Easter, everyone. Just slowly walking up the beach. See what we come across out here. I see our friend Roy making his way down towards us. Hey, I got some Bad news and good news. Our friend Barbara Grove, the shell lady, Barbara Grove, last Thursday, she went to the hospital. They thought she might have had a heart attack. But the good news is it wasn't a heart attack. She's still in the hospital as far as I know. I'm waiting to hear what the results were from her tests, but it definitely wasn't a heart attack. But our friend Barbara is in the hospital. So we want to keep her in our thoughts and prayers. Hope everything's okay with Barbara. Am I going to find a shark's tooth finally this morning on the beach? Wouldn't that be... Wouldn't that be fun? Everybody finds shark's teeth but me. I'm the only one that doesn't find them. There's all these little black stones and things on the beach and they throw you off when you're looking for shark's teeth. But they are out here. And they're in abundance too. If you know what you're looking for. You can find lots of shark's teeth out here. You just gotta have an eye for finding those things. I'd love to find just one nice big one. I'm not greedy. There's Roy coming down towards us. 
We'll stop and say hey to him, and we'll check back with him later. We'll just stop quick and say good morning to him. See if he saw any dolphins up at Wiggins Pass this morning. Boy, last Monday, that was incredible, the dolphins. We just we probably spent a half hour watching the dolphins up at Wiggins Pass. It was a great experience. It's so beautiful out here. Just a little breeze. Yeah, nice clear blue sky. Sun's just starting to come up. You can see it raking the beach. There's Roy going in for a hug. Is he gonna get one? Yep, good for Roy. God bless his soul. Be sure to say hi to Roy if you come out here. Let him know you saw him here on Southwest Florida Television. There are a lot of people showing up at the beach already. I got a feeling this the parking lots are gonna be full by 10 o'clock today, if not sooner. Roy's almost down here. One of our beautiful little black scallop shells. What's up there, Easter Bunny? It's the Easter Bunny. Missed you the last few days. Yeah, what's new? Well, everything's new. Everything's, everything's glorious. New. <laughs> Everything is glorious. Yeah. Ha. Had a new new fun experience the other day. Did you? Went out to the dog races. Oh, you did? Never seen dog races before. It was and amazing what'd you, what'd how fast of, those greyhounds go. They are go. fast, aren't wow, they? Wow, it was spectacular. How long did you hang out? How many races did you watch? Oh, just a few. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a betting man, although I did spend a couple bucks. You did? Yeah, yeah. Well, how'd you do on that? Well, not too well. Although, <laughs> oh, uh, old Ron, you know, the, the our friend down here, Ron, uh -huh. that wears the big hat, uh -huh. he won big. Really? Oh, terrific. 40 cents. Wow. <laughs> you know, winning's better than losing. Yeah, well, he bent the show on this. Uh, he put it down $2, and he got $2.40 Well, back. there you go. Yeah. So that must have been a favorite. Big winner. Dog. Yeah. Of course, then he placed a bunch more bets and lost, so yeah. I think he ended That's up. That's what happens. Oh, you bucks. win big, and you get greedy. <laughs> oh, gosh. But I enjoyed watching them run. Boy, they go, I'll tell you. Oh, they are fast. I was amazed. A lot of times they don't make that first turn. They go tumbling well, that's what into I the heard, wall. But I didn't see any yeah. fall over. Sad to see when they do that. They just go rolling across oh, the track. The thing is, the race is over with so fast. Oh, I, yeah. I thought they'd go around and around a few times, but just once around yeah. and they're done. A lot of buildup for just a, a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a couple yeah. minutes. Yeah. yeah. Just I, a couple minutes. Yeah, I don't know over. how long it is, but it but it's fun, and they parade them by. You kind of look them yep. over a little bit. And so you went downstairs and looked at oh the Oh, yeah, I was there. right hanging there right by the track. They yeah. just whizzed right by in front yeah. of you. Yeah, that's fun to see them up close. Well, I heard they were going to shut the place down, so I figured I better well, get up there. Well, yeah, it's going to be open for another year. Oh, buddy, yeah. Yeah, they didn't get their, you know, they're, they're fighting, I guess, the city. They want to take the dog track out and just have a casino there and build a hotel. Huh. And the city's blocking them on it, so they... Well, I heard the environment, whatever the animal uh, no. people that are concerned, but I think they're good to those dogs. Yeah, huh? they treat those dogs better than most people sure. treat their kids. I, think, I mean, they That's train their them, bread and butter. Feed them, yeah. The, and the dogs like to run. Oh, sucks. yeah. You should see them in the morning. I get there early in the morning. 
And I see those dogs, they call it schooling. They walk them around in the parking lot. And, oh, really? Oh, yeah. It's pretty interesting. It's fun to watch. I was wondering how they train them. Yep. They're all, they're all out barking, sniffing each other's butts. <laughs> I see they have little kind of mus muscles yeah. on them, too. I yeah. don't know why they do that. Well, so they won't bite each other? I, I assume. <laughs> they have those for people, you know. Yeah, of course. Good idea. No, they're beautiful dogs, those greyhounds. Interesting but, you know, the... dogs I, I was acquainted with was those sled dogs up in Alaska. Right. Those huskies. Yeah. Oh, are they, they tough are strong. Ones. Wow. Those are strong dogs. They're really something. And they, it's amazing how they stay warm. I mean, they just huh. bury themselves in the snow and, and go to sleep. they got a lot of fur. Yeah. <laughs> and very thick. A lot of yeah. multiple layers. Oh, dogs are interesting creatures. I really like horse races, but there isn't any track around no, here by the end of No, but you have to go over to the other coast for that. Uh-huh. The, uh, the people that own this place, the dog track, I think they own a, another dog track. They might own a horse track, too. Really? But they, they don't want anything to do with the dog racing. That's what it is. They just want to have casinos and get their money off the gambling, off the poker. And... Uh, the gambling. But I like, I like trained animals competing that way. That's really it's uh, exciting. quite a thrill. So, so that, how are you for Easter? Are you going to have good. a big Easter party? Well, we're just going out to dinner. Oh, that'd be nice. To, over to Mercado for, to McCormick and Schmidt for lunch. Oh, how nice. Well, that's about it. Just me and the wife and the mother-in-law. Oh, well, I can't beat that. Get together. What are you going to do? Well, Ron invited me to Easter dinner at his place, so oh, Ron nice. and Kay, so. Do they live right here? Yeah, oh. right nearby. Good. Good. So good. that'll be nice. Well. It'd be great. Think about, think about something profound. <laughs> I'm going to come back. Something for Easter. Something profound for Easter. Something new and spectacular. Yeah, give, give everybody something to chew on. <laughs> well, this April 1st, it used to be called April Fool's Day. Yeah, interesting, huh, that it, Easter fell on the 1st, eh, Justine? Yeah, yeah, and today was my brother's birthday, too. Oh, he was an April Fool's baby? Yeah, yeah. Rudy? Yeah. Boy. Good old Rudy. Oh, it's a kind of interesting day. Yeah. Well, think about something to, to to give us some advice or whatever, and I'll check I don't back have with any you. Good here. Advice, you always I'll, have advice. I'll dream up some thought you, for the day. You will <laughs> for Easter Sunday on this glorious Easter Sunday. Glorious, wonderful, isn't the sun coming did you, up? Did boy. you see any dolphins out there this morning? No, some lady said she saw a pot of them down here, but I didn't see any. She saw them off the beach here. Yeah, that's what oh, she okay. said. I haven't that seen beautiful yet. sunrise this morning. Oh boy! That was yeah, perfect. there was lots of colors in the sky yeah. this morning. All those clouds that are out there now. Oh, yeah. beautiful, beautiful. It was beautiful. Yeah, a lot of cars yesterday lined up back to the bridge, but this morning not that many. Yeah, but look how many people are already here. Yeah. When I came in just now, every parking lot's got probably 20 that. cars already. I will bet you it closes before 10 today. Probably. Easter Sunday, isn't that wonderful? Yep, it is. Remember when we were kids, our, our parents used to hide eggs for us. Yep. <laughs> Remember we'd get up real early in the morning, run downstairs and start searching for the Easter oh, egg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hiding Easter eggs. So you could find the most. <laughs> yep. <laughs> hide them outside, hide in the yard. Yep, hide yeah. them all over. <laughs> I remember those days. Easter eggs. I remember hiding it for our kids, doing hiding the eggs for the yeah. kids. Isn't that right? Yeah, yep. that's what we used to do, too. Yep. Candy. We started using the little plastic ones, and you could put then you could put a little piece of candy in them or something instead <laughs> oh, of eggs. Inside the Easter yeah. egg. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I remember coloring the eggs, sitting that's around right. the table. Oh yeah, that's the right. Eggs. You dye the Easter egg. Yeah. Color them. Yeah, that was yeah. a big deal back. In fact, um, Mark and Susie up here, they they had uh, got colored Easter eggs too. Oh, did they? Yeah. 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 A lot of people they they put the the colored Easter eggs out on the beach and take a picture of it for Easter. Yeah. And they make a postcard out of it with uh, the yeah. eggs on the beach in the sunshine and the water. <laughs> then they they wrote, a, wrote wrote something on the egg and then if they yep. dye it that would show up yep. or something. Right. It was like a wax crayon and yeah. and the the dye didn't get through the wax. Yeah. 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 Wax yeah it was thing. fun coloring eggs as a kid. Ah, a long. Ah, that was a long, long time ago. Yeah. Coloring the Easter eggs. Wow. Reminds me, I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> Telling me, 
<laughs> oh, yeah. Well, a lot of good traditions. Yep. That's, Easter is a great one. Tradition. That's the word of the day is tradition. All right. Well, we'll talk. What, that's going to be your word. We'll see. I don't know. We'll think, see. think, th come up with something good for us for Easter. I'll check back with you here in a little bit. All right, Roy. God bless. See you in a little while. Our good friend Roy. 93 years old, a World War II and Korean War veteran. Just never know what he's gonna share with us. It's always fun talking to Roy. Oh, there's an interesting piece of worm rock here. It's got some shells encased in it. Is some wild looking stuff, the warm rock. Hey, happy Easter, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm up in North Naples, Florida, at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Beautiful out here. It's starting to really warm up nice. Probably around 70 degrees now. I'm guessing the water temperature, I haven't checked. I'm guessing it's right around 74, 75. Maybe a little cooler. Clear blue sky. Sorry about that, somebody was calling in on my phone here. You can see all the shells right along the edge here. It's really pretty calm. The water is really calm out there. Some little waves breaking here along the shore. So let's keep walking north. See what we come across. Right along in here is where you're gonna find shark's teeth. If you find them, this is where you're gonna find them. Right now, the tide's just starting to come back in. Found anything interesting today? I, I found a little tiny sand dollar, but I oh, think it might actually, it, I don't know if it's still alive. I, it's it hard to tell, like it might it be might alive. Be. Yeah, I think it is alive. That's a little baby. I never found out what that one shell was. I didn't either. People were saying a candy cane, but it didn't look like it. Had a yeah, different you know, color. I um, I, I found a program at University of Florida that said if you send in pictures, uh huh. You know, oh, they'll tell you what they are. What so I think I might do that. Yeah, absolutely. I've all over, I absolutely. can't find anything. I've had, you know, a lot of people say it's a tulip shell. We know it's not no, a tulip. It's not I a mean, tulip. it's far it's from not a tulip. The right shade. Nope. It's, 
It was interesting. Somebody said it might be a tree snail. Yeah, land snail, a tree snail. Yeah. I did like, look at some pictures. They're similar, but I didn't see one. That exactly. I didn't see any that looked exactly yeah. like that. So. It's possible. There's yeah. all sorts of things. Oh that yeah. I find that. Don't yeah. Yep. Either, so. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's neat. One of these days we'll find out. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to figure it out in the meantime. It's just, it's yeah. Let us know when you find out. I will. Have a great day. <laughs> All right. Happy, Happy Easter. Easter. Yep. Yeah. Hoping to see some dolphins this morning, but you just never know when they're going to show up. They're on their own schedule out here. There's an osprey coming back to its nest. It's got a fish, bringing a fish back to its nest. Just landed up there in the tree. Here's a female calling out. Bringing breakfast home. Can't really. Well, nope, there he's taking off. He's still got the fish in his talons. He's coming back right over us. Wow. Where is he going? He's going to perch himself up here in the tree with his fish. Let's zoom in and see if we can get a shot of him eating. He's not going to share with the feet with his mate. He's looking at me. Let me zoom in here. Hang on. He's right in the top of this tree. See if I can find him and hold the camera still. There he is. See him up there with his fish. He's going to start eating. Oh, fish is still flapping around. Beautiful birds, the ospreys. See, he's got a fish there. You can see it flopping around. I've seen them carry some huge fish. Breakfast time. They are great fishermen, those ospreys. Wow. Little fresh seafood for breakfast. That is cool. Let's head back down towards the water. See what we find. There's a big cockle shell on the beach. Pretty high up on the beach. Nice cockle shell. Look at this. Here's a clam shell. Look at this, how worn this is. Pitted. Look at that. That's what's left of a clam shell. But look how other animals have just eaten away at that. Almost looks like a piece of coral, doesn't it? But that's an old clam shell. Well, wow, there's a piece of a, what was a huge cockle shell. That was a pretty good sized cockle at one time.
Boy, there are lots of people already setting up at the picnic tables here, got their fires going. Great place to spend a day with the family. There's picnic tables all up and down. Right just in behind these trees is a nature trail. There's picnic tables and barbecue grills all the way along the beach back in there. There's a mile of beach here at Del Norwegans. All natural. No homes or condos out here. Unspoiled paradise. Beautiful, beautiful Easter morning. The only thing we saw really exciting so far was that uh, that big sea slug. That thing was huge. Saw that earlier in our beach walk. There's a lot of shells out here. Just I haven't seen anything that I really wanted to add to my collection. Down in Area 4, there was a lot of pockets of shells on the beach. Just big clusters of them. Here's a little cluster here. It's over here, I see a little scallop over here, a colorful little part of a scallop. Part of a scallop shell. Got all different kinds of scallops here, different colors. Ooh, here's a big kitten's paw. A nice worm shell. There's a really nice kitten's paw. Look at that. The kitten's paw shell. Kitten paw, that is a beauty there. That's a nice little specimen. That's a good size one. I'm gonna keep that. And right next to it is a nice little worm shell. Look at that. That's a great little worm shell. And there's a shark eye that I picked up earlier. Let me put the worm shell in my pocket. Show you the shark eye. There's the shark eye. That's the eye right there. That's why they call it a shark eye. Also called a moon shell. Absolutely gorgeous shells. Speaking of shells, our friend Barbara Grove, the shell lady, is in the hospital right now, waiting on the results of some tests. So let's keep her in our prayers, our thoughts and prayers. Hopefully everything will work out and she'll be fine. What else do we have down here? You know, I saw some really neat shells and then I looked up and looked down and I couldn't find them again. It's amazing how you spot things. They just get lost, lost in the mix. Keep walking up the beach. I'll keep my eyes open there for the dolphins. Maybe we'll get lucky and spot a couple offshore this morning.
That water is gorgeous this morning. Looks nice and clear, nice and clean. As I said earlier, if you're planning on coming to the beach today, you better just get in your car and come now. I have a feeling they're gonna be closing the park. They're gonna run out of parking here very early today. At 7.30 this morning, the parking lots were already starting to fill up. Amazing, just amazing. Easter Sunday. This is the place to be on Easter Sunday, right here. After church, come here and get in touch with the great creator at the beach. That's what Roy does every morning. You see him on his hands and knees up at Five Wiggins Pass. Boy, we've had a lot of beach erosion here. You can see how much beach we lost here in Area 5. A lot. You see the condos of Park Shore way, way down south there, way down in the distance. Give you a little zoom in. Those condos, I'm guessing they're about halfway between us and the Naples Pier. That's kind of a compressed look at the beach here at Wiggins. As you can see a lot of folks already Arriving, see them all down there. Beautiful. So I just go into the selfie mode to get out of the zoom mode, it's a lot faster than messing around with the screen, especially when my fingers are a little wet. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Is just peaceful walks on the beach in the morning. If I find something interesting, if I know anything about it, I'll talk about it. There's an old lightning whelk shell. Pretty well beat up. You find a lot of whelks on the beach. Pear whelks, lightning whelks. This is an old lightning whelk. Oh, right down here, looks like a big slipper shell. Let me rinse the sand off it real quick. There's another one, a couple of them. A couple big slipper shells. Hang on, just gonna get the sand off them so I can show them to you. can see the slipper shell real very very smooth on the outside then when you turn it over the inside you see how it's got that little chamber that's why they call it a slipper shell use your imagination there it kind of looks like a little shoe when you look at it see that
A lot of these shells have some interesting common names, and it's real easy to figure out why they have those names when you see them. These slipper shells, they're very common on the beach. There's, there's a, another one right there. And they're all over. I see about probably 10 of them right here at my feet. Nice looking little scallop shell. That's a really nice looking scallop. There's a little tiny piece of worm rock over here. I just think that worm rock is so neat. Look at that. Almost looks like it's from another world. Well, it actually is. It comes from the bottom of the ocean. That is another world. <laughs> wow, there's, there's a little tiny cockle shell. A baby cockle shell. Part of a scallop over there. What do we got here? Oh, here's a little, a little turkey wing shell. Remember how I was saying they got common names, all the shells. The common name for this is the turkey wing. Pretty obvious why that's called a turkey wing. I don't know it by any other name. Actually, I just know it by a turkey wing. There's a piece of a big whelk over here. Just the side of it, just actually a piece of the inside of a big whelk. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Happy Easter. There's a piece of a shark eye down here. Just a slice of a shark eye. If you're just joining, we're up in North Naples, just walking north along the beach at Del Norwegans Pass State Park. We're in Area 5, it's the northernmost part of the park. Oh, there's a big turkey wing shell here. That one's pretty old and worn out. That's a big old turkey wing. Oh, there's a murex shell. Part of a murex. Part of an apple murex shell right there. Those are beautiful shells. This is about half of an apple murex. You can see the color patterns. Beautiful shells, the apple murex. Got lace murex shells and apple murex shells. Just never know what's going to come washing up at your feet when you're walking along. Oh, there's another Murex. That's, again, just part of a Murex. Looks like another apple. Part of another apple Murex shell. These are kind of hard to spot, the apple Murex, the Murex shells. They kind of blend in with the sand with that rough texture they have. Black scallop shell down there. Piece of a black scallop. Hey, be sure to let everybody know where you're watching from. Introduce yourself to the group here. That's what this is all about. It's about making friends, making new friends. 
We've got some great friends watching from all around the world. It's so exciting. Got all the little birds up there. Here's the, just the top of a fighting conch shell. The very point. Just the tip of a fighting conch. sandpipers up here in front of me. They're being pretty patient. I'm walking very slow. I don't want to disturb them. Another big turkey wing just kind of washed up on the beach. Over here, half of a pen shell. That's a big one, a pen shell. These will bury themselves in the sand point end down about halfway that's what's sticking up definitely wouldn't want to step on that that's half of a pen shell there p-e-n pen the tide's slowly moving in here Boy, lots of turkey wings up here this morning Another good sized turkey wing. Let's go, let's find a whelk or a murex, a nice murex. Every time the waves come in, it's something new, it's amazing. They just kind of stir up the shoreline and uncover stuff that's buried. You see turkey wings everywhere this morning. Everywhere. Little cockle shell. There's another little piece of worm rock over here. You can hear all the kids screaming on the beach, having fun this morning. A lot of people are planning on spending a day here. This is part of a shark eye. You can rinse it off here. See what it looks like. Well, that was, man, that would have been a beautiful shark eye. Look at the patterns on that. Chipped away, though. Look at the colors. That is beautiful. That is a beautiful shark eye right there. Wow. Very, very nice coloration. Darn. Look at that. So we'll get him focus here. That is beautiful. Spin around. Get the light coming in the other direction here. That is a beautiful shell right there. That is gorgeous. shark eye or moon shell, also called a moon shell. Wow. There's what's left of an old fighting conch. 
Ooh, there's a nice turkey wing down there. That's a nice size turkey wing shell there. The old Florida fighting conch. Almost to the north end of the park. The signal, every once in a while our signal drops out here, so if it drops out, bear with me, I'll be back. I just gotta keep moving to reestablish a connection. Beautiful morning out here. I got a shell in my pocket. That I want to hang on the tree for all of our friends here. Well, oh, there's some beautiful, beautiful pieces of fighting conchs up here. Look at these. All worn. Beautiful though when they're worn, the fighting conks. I actually think I saw, just saw a little sliver. Maybe not. I thought I saw a little tiny sliver of the sand dollar. Yeah. There's a little piece of a sand dollar right there. Just a little segment. There's that kitten's paw I found earlier. That's a great looking kitten's paw. I want to hang. I want to hang this old, what might be an old crown conch. Can't tell if it's a fighting conch or a crown conch. But I want to hang this on the tree here. Stick it right here. Right there. That's for all you guys watching that can't make it out to the beach to hang a shell. In case you're wondering what this is all about, well, you can see there's a lot of other shells on the branches here. A lot of people just, they'll hang a shell as a decoration. Some hang a shell and say a prayer or make a wish. Actually, I've seen people take a marker and write their, their last name on it and the date, and they take a picture of it as a little memento of their visit to the beach. But the main reason people hang these shells is they hang a shell in memory of a loved one that's passed away. So there you go. That shell right there. That's for all of you that can't make it to the beach. That can be for whatever reason you want. The Happy Easter from Rob at Southwest Florida Television. Quite a few shells there. Be sure to add a shell when you come out here. Two things you need to do when you visit the beach here at Del Norwegian. You need to hang a shell and you have to visit with Roy. You have to stop and say hi to our friend Roy when you come out here. And ladies, you know Roy loves his hugs. Be sure to give him a hug when you come out. We're gonna check in with Roy in a little bit. 
soon as I turn around and head back down to area four. It's a little wormy tip over here. A little, it's the tip of a worm shell, a wormy tip. There's an interesting looking slipper shell. That's a good size slipper right there, slipper shell. tide is really starting to come in now it's slowly going to start washing all the shells out into the water I just saw something down here washed away a little piece of a worm shell Uh, possibly that looks like part of a crown conch right there might have been banded tulip it's hard to tell not much there lots of little worm tips on the beach you got to have a few of those in your collection the little worm tips this scallop down here it's got some barnacles growing on it look at that that is really neat An old scallop shell look at that wow that is really cool This is definitely the place to be today, Easter Sunday. Beautiful out here. This is Wiggins Pass, just up in front of us, at the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. seen any dolphins yet this morning. Roy said that one person, a lady, told him that she saw a pod of them early this morning just offshore of the beach. They're out here somewhere. Hey, look at all the shells here. Wow. Look at that. Amazing. Look at all of those shells. Man. Who knows what all's buried down in there.
try to take a look around here up at the pass and then turn around and head back down and go see Roy again. See what he's come up with. It's always fun hearing what Roy has to say. You never know what we're going to hear. Big boat heading out here. Gorgeous out here. Hear the wind blowing here. Nice breeze. Wow. Looks like three 350 horsepower outboards on that boat. There goes 10 gallons of gas. Shoot, 20 gallons of gas. <laughs> wow. That's beautiful. Let me try and zoom in here across the pass. all the condos all the way up to Fort Myers Beach over there. That's the tip of Barefoot Beach. You can see all the birds out there at the end. It's Barefoot Beach Preserve. Another gorgeous beach. Another great beach for shelling. Just kind of a hike to get down to the end of that beach there. It's about a half mile walk to get from the parking lot in Fairfoot to get down to the end. Here comes another boat up the pass. That's the Okahatchee River there. This is the mouth of the Cocahatchee River, Wiggins Pass. It's in North Naples. Beautiful day. Beautiful morning. Happy Easter, everybody. Loving it out here this morning. Bear with me, I'm gonna take a photograph. We're gonna lose the signal for a minute. Just hang tight. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. 
photo or video, I can't do it. Let's start walking back down the beach. Go see our friend Roy. There's our friend Justine. We saw her earlier this morning. She found a little baby sand dollar. Anything unusual? Piece of a sea urchin? A spiny one or the smooth one? This is the second piece oh, wow, I found yeah. this week, so I know they must be out there. I've never yeah. found one myself. That's a little piece <laughs> of a sea urchin. Did you see that big that snail yeah. thing? Yeah, sea slug, whatever. Is that yeah. what that is? Yeah, that was a big one. I've never yeah, seen them that big. Huge. Yeah, that was huge. I've, I've found sea urchins, live ones out here. Really? But the ones with the big spines all over them. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, yeah. that would be a cool one. Yeah. They're all, and they were live. <laughs> yeah, wow. Ooh, look at that. Top of a big whelk. That is so neat. There's a the top of, that would have been a beautiful shell. That's the top of a big whelk shell, a big lightning whelk. Those are such beautiful shells, the lightning whelks. left of a crown conch. Crown conchs are gorgeous. This one's seen better days. Still got some nice colors in it though. Crown conch. These are one of my favorite shells. I have not found a really nice crown conch yet. And all my times at the beach. My friends have them in their collections. I just never find them. The crown con. So peaceful just listening to the waves. It's a big piece of coral. Piece of finger coral. Hope you're enjoying tagging along with me here at the beach. Couldn't ask for a more beautiful morning on this Easter Sunday. I'm gonna take a quick photo, bear with me for a sec. Gorgeous out here, look at that. Look at the colors out here this morning. It's beautiful. Beautiful blues and greens. Lots of shells rolling in and out in the surf.
Lots of people had the same idea this morning. Come down to the beach. They let people in here early this morning. Boy, look at all the shells over here. Just look at that pile of shells. Hey, be sure to check out our other Facebook page, Nonstop Naples. Nonstop Naples. Download the free app for your mobile device, Nonstop Naples. We're just putting together a rewards program for different restaurants and in Naples. So download the free app. Gorgeous out here. I'm gonna step out into the water just a little bit. Boy, there are a ton of little worm tips along the beach here. I mean, I'm just passing by tons and tons of them. These little worm tips. everywhere the slipper shells are everywhere this morning these are slipper shells all these these are all slipper shells They're everywhere piles and piles of slipper shells on the beach look at all, look at all these little worm tips right here All worm tips. No shortage of worm tips on the beach this morning. I was going to step out into the water and look back up the beach. It's looking north. You see some of the trees that Hurricane Irma knocked over. These used to all be along the edge of the water. Beautiful sea grapes and Hurricane Irma came along and knocked them all down. We did a lot of damage, that hurricane. But we're coming back strong. Just saw something rolling around. Oh, a really, really old conch shell. Look at that, fighting conch. That is really an old worn out one there. This is when you start finding some interesting things as these waves come in and out. They uncover all the little shells along the shoreline as the tide's coming in. That's when you can find some neat things. Shells that have been, that were buried. There's a little olive shell. An olive. So many interesting things along the beach. 
you just gotta stop and take the time and look. And you're always gonna find something different. Part of an old whelk right there. An old lightning whelk shell. I'm excited about getting down to our friend Roy, hearing what he has to say this morning. Happy Easter to those of you just tuning in. We're up in North Naples, Florida. Hey, Ron. How you doing? Good. How are you doing? Uh, just hanging in memory, show up. Hanging in memory. Just That's lost, what it's all about. Lost the rant. Happy Easter, brother. You too. This is my wife, Robin. Happy Robin, Easter. hi. Nice Happy to meet Easter. You. Yep. And uh, that's it. I saw uh, Roy. He was sitting down there. Oh yeah. How's yeah. the diet going? Oh, I lost uh, 16 pounds in two weeks. Congratulations. You know. Of course, now I stopped. I put <laughs> yeah. Put a couple back on. It comes back faster than it goes off. Isn't I that know. the truth? I got to start again. <laughs> you know. I, that, I was happy with 16, you know. Yeah. That's oh, good. yeah. That's, That's good. good. Yeah. You know? It's not easy. I mean, it takes some. It's not easy. A lot of some eggs. commitment. A lot of eggs. A lot of hard boiled yeah. eggs every day. <laughs> with me, it's the darn beer. Oh, yeah. That's well, my... yeah, if I do that, yeah. instant gut. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I'm trying to be good. Yeah. You know? I'm trying to be good. Awesome. So. Well, have a great day. Okay, happy you Easter. Too. Happy yep. Easter. Take it easy, Ron. That's our, our Facebook friend. <laughs> oh, somebody's taking a picture of me. <laughs> That's funny. That was our friend Ron Springer. You might see him on Facebook commenting once in a while. Great guy. Yeah, here's Mr. Terry. Happy Easter. Ranger Terry. Well, you can smell all the barbecue grills going in the park today. Man, I'm getting hungry walking along the beach. It's a beautiful little cockle. Beautiful little cockle shell. All along the beach here, back in behind these trees, there's a trail that parallels the beach. And all along that, that pathway, that trail, are picnic tables and barbecue grills, hundreds of them. It's all first come, first serve. Just please leave it clean, leave it the way you find it. Please pick up after yourself if you come out here and picnic and cook out. And please make sure your fires are out. A lot of people ask if you can camp here. No, there is no overnight camping at Del Norwegians. This is not an overnight camping park. They just don't have the facilities for it. Look at all these little sandpipers. There's a nice piece of coral. Nice little piece of coral. Two interesting things here. That's the, the bottom, like I would call that like the stem of a piece of finger coral. That's a nice little piece of finger coral. That's a chunk of it. And then there's a little chunk of worm rock over here. Always like showing people that worm rock. So coral on the left. Warm rock on the right. Just 
slowly making my way down south. Lots of kids this morning having fun at the beach. Incredible morning here, just beautiful as can be this morning. There's a fighting conch. Shell of a fighting conch. Little piece of a worm shell over here. We normally find the tips. Here's a part of the shell. Part of the worm shell. Nice little cockle down there. Right there, the cockle shell. It's got chip in it. Have not seen any dolphins swimming by this morning. Just never know when they're gonna make an appearance, but I'll tell you what, when they do, it is awesome. It is so fun to watch the dolphins swimming by. Sometimes they put on a really nice show for us. Right now they're in pods with their babies. Isn't that water beautiful, the greens and the blues. Nice look up the beach there. I'm gonna take a picture of that. Bear with me, just hang tight. I'm just gonna lose the feed for a second. I'll be right back. This beautiful blue sky. Just gorgeous everywhere you look, all around. You know, the music playing, families picnicking. Get a lot of visitors from the East Coast, from Miami over here and Fort Lauderdale. They come over to this coast to get away from the hustle and bustle of that coast, there are other coasts there. And all we ask is when you come over here, please, please respect our beaches. Don't litter. One bad apple spoils it for everybody. Where is Roy? Is he out here on the beach? Is his chair on the beach or is he up under the trees this morning? Where is he? I hope he's got something good for us this morning. I gave him plenty of time to think of something good for us. Definitely starting to fill up here now. Definitely starting to fill up at the beach. Here in the background, I can hear the ospreys calling out. Had a good look at an osprey this morning up in the tree with a fish. Let me zoom in, compress this a little. Give you a little different perspective of the beach here. You can see all the condos of Fort Myers, of Bonita Beach, Estero, Fort Myers Beach, all in the background there. Beautiful view.
kids playing out there in the water. Love it, love it, love it. having a hard time finding Roy. He might have got run out of here this morning. He doesn't like the loud music that the holidays bring. I hope he's still here. We did see him earlier. Earlier on towards the beginning of my beach walk. I don't see Roy here. Oh yeah, I do. He's tucked up under the tree, way up there. There he is. It's all bundled up. It's getting pretty warm out here. Hear the ospreys in the background? The nest is right above me here. Can't see the ospreys from this angle, but the nest is right there, right up in the top of that tree. Every once in a while, you'll hear them screeching. And the female kind of hangs out up there. Hopefully we're gonna have some little babies. I don't know if there's any eggs up there yet or not. And this is up in the north end of area four. Area 4 beach, area 4 parking lot. Up where Roy hangs out. Look at that sky. Wow. Now there's Roy, all bundled up. Roy, Roy. Hey, Rob, how are you? How are you doing? Have a good walk up the beach? Yes, we did have a nice walk. It was nice and peaceful. Yeah, it is peaceful. Is this your thing, this float thing? Yeah. What's that? Something new you got? No, I put it in my lap and I set the book on it and then it's... Oh, props reading. your book up. I thought it was for swimming. <laughs> I don't know what it's for, but <laughs> it works okay. Oh, man. So what you you gonna go to lunch or dinner tonight? What is it? Uh lunch, high noon, Easter Easter dinner at noon. Oh, that'll be nice. Yeah. Oh, oh gosh. Ron and Kay, so that'll be nice. Oh, that'll be great. Yep. Yeah. So, did you think of anything for us? Well, a little something. Yeah, I remember there we mentioned tradition when I was down there with you. Right. Well, you know, I think a, a really. Um, worthwhile part of life is the right combination of tradition and unorthodox. In other words, uh, it's nice to have peaceful, pleasant times that are just um, just the way they always are so uh -huh. you can relax in peace. However, if you have that all the time, you get a little bit uh, bored and ennuied with it. So it's nice to have then something new and exhilarating and exciting going on. Something different. Absolutely. Something key, completely chaotic and different. But 
you don't want that all the time because then you get kind of exhausted and you want to have some peaceful times. That makes so sense. So my thought for the day is the right combination of new, exciting, and um, different and unorthodox, and traditional and peaceful and relaxing. You just mix them together. Yeah, and that makes a glorious life. You it just does. have the right combination of the two because all of one or all of the other isn't all that great. If it's always exciting and new and different and exhilarating, you pretty soon get pretty exhausted. <laughs> and you'd like to have a little peace and comfort and quiet. That's right. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. But if you get too much of that, you figure, oh, well, what's what's new in the world? Yeah. You know, you get kind of ennui, and so you want something new and different and exciting. Well, that makes a lot of sense. So what are you going to do new and different and exciting today? Well, I'm going to have Easter dinner with, with Ron and Kay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to try to call my family and say hi to them. And, well, that'd be sweet. Yeah, that'll be nice, and that's yeah. about it, I guess. And then... Our usual is, our tradition is coming to the beach. <laughs> well, that's pretty traditional. That's, But it's uh, it's peaceful and pleasant to meet all kinds of friends, and that's delightful. It is beautiful out here. Today it was just gorgeous. Beautiful did you blue see sky. any dolphins at all? I did not see any dolphins this either. morning. No dolphins. Darn it. I was really hoping to see them. Did you? And the steel manatee, he was out yesterday, but not did he, today. Was he sticking his nose up? Yeah, steel manatee <laughs> was there. <laughs> that's yeah. too funny. <laughs> I'll never forget that. Oh boy. No, I'll tell you what, it it was it's just so peaceful out here. But there's a lot of people here early today. Oh yeah. The yeah. beach is starting to fill up. Busy day. It's supposed to be the busiest day of the year. Really? But boy yesterday was it was it seemed busier than now. Looks like you're gonna be getting run out of your spot here. People are setting up behind you already. Oh yeah, oh, they're there. <laughs> Pretty soon the oompa is gonna start. Room for everybody, yeah, yeah. I don't care for the oompas, but people are <laughs> people are pleasant and delightful. Yeah. You never know, you might get some some hugs from some new gals here. Well, you There's can't, always that possibility. Can't beat that. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, they're There's, all very sweet to me. They're they just, call that they call that new talent, yeah, you know, fresh well, talent. The, the ladies are so sweet to me. <laughs> they are. I don't aren't know they? why, but they're just really. really I know nice. why. Because you're a great guy. I don't know about that. <laughs> oh yeah. But I, Everybody watching knows that. I sure enjoy their companionship and all of their nice thoughts and being so good to me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what they're saying here, but. <laughs> They're all around. Yeah. Oh, boy. They're really good with their kids, I'll tell you. They, they are. play with their children. Lot, there's take, lots of families Take them there. in the water. And... I'll tell you what, I was getting hungry walking along the beach. I could smell the, the <laughs> grills going Yeah, they're already, already grilling first already thing in the morning. Cooking breakfast out I here I noticed that. <laughs> Man, there were some good smells walking along the <laughs> beach. Yeah, well, that's always pleasant, too. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well... Did you have a good chat with the, the creator this morning? Today's his yeah, day. Yeah, I really did. I was up at the end. I always, that's where I say my prayers. I knelt down and the sun rises up and I, I'm i talking to him when the sun rises. Oh, and then the moon was up there Oh, too. yeah, the full the moon, moon going was down. setting. The sun was rising. Oh, what a paradise. It was beautiful. I had color in the sky when the sun was rising. Big orb. So life is glorious, isn't it? It is glorious. Just to be I'll able to come you, out here. It's the most beautiful place in the world, that big blue ocean. Gosh sake. I mean, what do we live, you know, five minutes away from here? It's yeah, just aren't we amazing. blessed? It is. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and it's a state park, so it'll never change. That's, yep. Let's hope people respect it. Oh, yeah, most people do. Oh, stretch out the old bones here. <laughs> <laughs> it's always tough getting up. It's easy getting down. Getting up's the hard part. So how's your work doing? Everything going good? Yeah, good. We're right good. Everything's good. Are you there. getting some new uh, sponsorship on your uh, on your um, yeah. videos? Yep, yep, yep. I got a couple little projects going on, so it's good. What are, what are those projects? Oh, for one of our banks here in town. I got some, really? Yep, I got some work to do with them. You're taking pictures of the money? Yeah, helping them count it. Huh? One for you, one for me. One for you, one for me. <laughs> what do you what do you do for banks? Oh, Tell about their uh, well, return on investment. No, or something? it's uh, just how their how their bank works. It's uh, kind of an interesting bank. There's no tellers or anything at it. 
Really? It's all kind of automated, yeah. No kidding. Yeah, so we just make, we're making a little video to, that people can watch before they go into the bank so they know what they're doing. Oh, that's, that's a good idea, yeah. yeah. So there's no tellers? Nope, no tellers. Oh, be darn. They tell it to a, to, those, a, to a computer, huh? Basically, yep. There's just deposit, there's machines you put your money in, get your money out of, and yep, it's pretty neat. Well, there must be somebody lurking in the back office oh, yeah. in case there's one people, of the computer goofs up. There's people inside to help you. Yeah. But there's no teller windows like you're used to having where you walk up and it's kind of you just help yourself. Makes it I'm, a lot I'm easier. I'm kind of old school. I kind of oh, like yeah. the human relationships. Absolutely. Hey, on the telephone, it's nice to talk to people instead of just typing in some something and, you know, not having that... Relationship yeah. Well, there's somebody there to help you if you don't know how to do it. Well, there's a lot of people that like just to help themselves and get in and get out. Huh. So it's it's a lot. It's faster. And huh. nowadays, you don't even have to go to the bank. To, you just you can you know you can take your phone like this, take a picture of your check, and it goes into your account. Really? Yep. You don't even have to go to the bank to deposit. You your don't checks. have to bring a check to the bank. Nope. Just That's... do it with your phone kind of disconcerting to me <laughs> yeah you wonder if it's that easy to put in how easy is it for somebody else to take it out <laughs> <laughs> well there's always scam artists i got oh, yeah. a postcard the other day where they wanted to they said i had a grant for five hundred thousand dollars awesome what are we going to do with that well uh all i had to do was uh give them my bank account number so they could transfer <laughs> yeah, the right. funds but yep. I don't. I declined that privilege. Good for you. I mean, what do you do with five hundred thousand? What that's the heck? Not, that's not. That's worthless. <laughs> well, I I had one once before like that. It came on my email or something, and right. I brought it to the bank and I said, "What about this?" He says, "They're criminals. Don't get yep. involved." Absolutely. There's a lot of that going on. Fraud <laughs> out. Yep. There's a lot of bad people out there. Very common. You're not the only one. They try to abuse so we gotta stay with the positive stay with the positive you got that right and don't mess with mr. in between no mr. and that how that goes yeah something like that <laughs> to yeah. clear the negative and <laughs> well I got to get rolling along got things I still have things I have to do today even though it's Easter Sunday really you're yeah. working on Easter yeah just on the computer, I gotta do some organization. <laughs> get, get my projects organized. Well, I'm happy you got that project. That sounds interesting yeah. for the bank. Yep. Look at this goofy thing coming down the beach. What's coming up? What's on the beach? I don't know, but it's your goofy. Oh, it's just a big float. A big beach float. I don't know what it is. Something's sticking out of it. It's a big swan. Something's it is. It's a big swan. It's, yep. <laughs> it's upside down. That's you funny. It up. A big beach float. Oh. Hey, how are you doing, Rosa? Good, good. Happy Easter. People already setting up. They're gonna spend the whole day here. Well, Roy, looks like you're gonna have company. I like company. Yep. Who's coming in? Oh, well, that's Rosa, the ranger, the park ranger. Oh, Rosa, the ranger, good. She's just keeping tabs on everybody, making sure they behave today. Well, I'm glad things are are yeah. uh, audited and under control. <laughs> there you go. There, there's lots of rangers out here today taking it, care of things. It, it, it makes things peaceful for us. Yep. All right, Daddy-O. You have a wonderful, wonderful day. You too, and happy Easter. Happy Easter. And happy Easter to all the wonderful uh, uh, recipients of uh, this Facebook message. friends yeah. there. Yep, there you go. All right, Roy. Facebook God bless. Tally-ho. God bless you. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful Easter Sunday. Look at that sky. <laughs> it's 
So many families out here today. A lot more people than normal. All right, Roy, tally ho. Tally ho. <laughs> oh, it's always fun talking to him. Well, just gonna walk down the beach a little further before signing off. Yeah, nice little beach walk this morning. Very relaxing. Saw a few interesting things. Hey, be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos. There's some neat stuff scattered throughout the mix. Some great shots of some of our shorebirds. Some great dolphin videos. Look how beautiful this water is. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Sounds of the kids playing in the background. Loving it, just loving it. I'll give you one more quick look up the beach and then we're gonna sign off. See a couple paddle boarders heading up the beach. I don't know if you can see them way offshore there. A kayaker and a paddleboarder. Every once in a while you'll see the dolphins come up and swim beside the paddleboarders and the kayakers. Yeah, beautiful.
there you have it. Happy Easter, everybody. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful day, wherever you might be. Remember the reason for this holiday. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.